Notion plus Todoist integration. Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can get your Todoist in within your Notion and how you can embed that into your Notion so you keep the track of everything of your Notion and your Todoist at one place. So let's get into it. So as you know that these both are basically project management softwares and both have their own pros and they can be used in uh, if you are using one of platform, then it gets difficult to basically use the another one for different tasks and for different uh, perks that they have if you want to use both at the same time you can do that as well so i'm going to show you a quick way that you can enter your you can add your todoist into your notion very easily so here you can see i have notion open for me and this is basically a task that i created earlier which is related to thesis planning so i have the same task open for me in todoist as well so here you can see this is basically my thesis project exploration etc so what you want to do is basically go on to notion and what you need to do is basically add a new page because and it has to be a, an empty page you don't have to insert any kind of template because that is going to cause a problem it has a lot of things already embedded in it so you don't want to do that it is going to um, jungle up the whole thing so you need to get a new page for yourself and then you need to basically title it to do is i'm just going to do that for my own ease if you want to name it something else you are very free to do that but i'm just going to do that right here so the next thing that you want to do is basically you you can also you have templates empty page empty page with icons and then in your database you have a couple of options as well so you're just going to get yourself an empty page okay type this for commands and as you can see it is very empty so now you want to go on to do it and you need to go log out of your to do list right here i'm just going to quickly log out of my to do list because we are going to enter the empty login page of to do list here because th uh, that's uh, i'll show you why i'm doing this but oh, wait a second just let me do that quickly i'm just going to copy this you want to enter the login page just copy that and then what you need to do is basically click here add a block and now you want to add an embed block which i'm going to find wait a second okay so you're gonna get here you can see this is an embed block and what you're gonna do is now you want to enter the link that we have pasted earlier and i'm going to click on embed link and it is going to give me the todoist login page right here okay so here you can see this is the todoist login page and now you can just go on and log into your todoist and you can basically access whatever you want here and now after align it if you want to you can align it in the center of the page at the side if you want to let's say i want to align it at the side now if you want to caption it if you want the original and more actions everything is right here so after you are done after you have completed you know your uh you want to drag it long or short or whatever so after you are done with this you're basically you're going to continue with google because that is what i'm using right now i'm going to continue with the google right here so i'm just waiting right now because uh it is logging me in into my to-do list and it will appear here so uh, let me tell you why i did this and why i uh, basically logged in like that it will it is important because when you want to use notion on different devices like i'm currently using it on my desktop right now but if you want to use it on your mobile and upon, um, on your tablet as well so it is going to give you a lot of error if you just go on and add the logged in page and logged in link into your um uh, into your to-do list right now so for to eliminate that what we're going to do is we are just going to enter the embed of login and then we are going to log in uh, originally from uh, whatever you want to use google whatever you want to use um, uh, your email whatever you want uh, then you're going to log in and it is going to give you the page after logging in and after uh, you are completely logged in we are going to replace the code and i'm going to show you as well so i'm just going to wait until it completes the login process and then we can continue so here you can see after uh, signing in this is the home page of my todoist and this is the task that i was working on recently and as you can see this is how simply you can get your todoist here and you can basically go on switch to tasks you can switch to upcomings you can switch to inbox you can go on and check your favorites and everything and you can basically drag it uh, you can uh, enlarge it to the full screen if you want to like this uh, wait a second let me just do that okay so yes this is the full view of the todoist okay got it and now you can add your task if you want to like for example 
example, I want to uh, add a task in January. Uh, you can name the task anything like test task. And this is how basically you can integrate your Todoist into your Notion. As you can see, it was so easy. So uh, right before we entered the URL, which was not the right URL, we just entered the login URL. Now, if you want to change the URL, um, you should actually replace the URL because uh, later on when you switch devices, it's going to cause you problems. So how are you basically going to replace it? Just click on this action, uh, more action. Um, this is, uh, these three dots it is basically it's going to give you more actions and you just click on that and now you're going to click on this which says replace you can go on and click on replace and from here you can embed the url that you want to like i want to uh, uh copy this url that is basically the main screen url go on to your to do list and you're just going to click on this and you're going to paste and you're just going to embed the link okay so when you do that here you can see this is uh, the same page opened again and this is basically my to do list and this is how it's going to work and now uh, this is the tab which uh, will always have your to do list you can just come on and see what is going to happen and you can manage your to do from here and whatever you are going to do here is going to update here uh, simultaneously so you can uh, do that uh, search that into your app you can uh, find things into your app and you're uh, you're going to find it into your notion as well so you can basically enlarge it uh, and you can basically uh, you if you want to minimize it you can just go on and you do like this if you want to basically change the view the alignment it is basically central aligned right now if you want to side align it you can just do that from this option then you can also comment on it because it is a block uh, you can add uh, different comments and what else you can do is basically you can go to the original website as well so this is what uh, you can also caption it if you want to you can uh, write different captions about it like this is my to do list if you want to tell your teammates about something that is important happening in to do list you can just go on in this option you can duplicate it copy link to block you can full screen view original replace move and comment and caption align you can do all these things right here so as you can see it is very easy to do that uh, if you uh, go into the import section right here um, notion allows you to import some of the tasks uh, some of the uh, you know some of the platforms here uh, directly like Evernote. Evernote is also a very good project management, um, you know, uh, platform. You can import it directly right here, but it is not, it doesn't give you the option to import in Todoist directly. So this is how basically you can get your Todoist into Notion and you can manage both things at the same time. So this was it for today's video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. Please give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Take good care and bye-bye.